As you start working with GitHub code spaces, you may have one or many of them. And one obvious question that comes in mind is where do I find all the code spaces and what's their usage? Can I look at that? So we'll answer both the questions. The first one is where do I find all the code spaces? So you go to the menu icon all the way to the top list and you click on code spaces. Here you can see all your code spaces. So I have a code space, which is under my user account, which is HMIShu. I have two code spaces. Only one of them is active and this one is not active. So by default, if your code space remains inactive for 30 minutes or so, it's in their documentation. And I, I believe there is a way for, for you to configure that as well. They make it inactive so that you're not being charged for its usage. So I have two code spaces at the moment. One is active, one is not active. But right now it doesn't tell me what its usage looks like in terms of the time. And because if I click here, it opens up the code spaces again. So the idea is that you start working on it, but this is not what I want. So I will go back. So in order to find the usage, I will go to my user account, which is top right hand side, click here and then click on settings. And then I need to come to billings and plans and click on plans and usage. And this is here. If I scroll down, I can show you the usage this month section where, and it gives me usage of all the services that I use from GitHub. And one of the services that I use is code spaces. And it tells me that I have 180 included core hours. So I'm on the pro plan, which means I have little more bandwidth to work with code spaces than on the free plan. So. If I click on this icon here, I can see how much I'm charged for what type of machine I have used. So for a four core machine, it has been $1.39, which is already included and their price per hour, which is the unit price that I have. And if I click back, I can also look at the storage on how much storage I have used for now. So this is really two places where you can get that answer where my code spaces are and what their usage looks like.